Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for Vanilla in which we're playing as Denmark using the against the arms against arms arms against tyranny DLC. I can speak. But we're gonna reaffirm neutrality. Our non-commitment during the last war served us well and spared us hordes of war. Declaring neutrality might just save us yet again. Or it might not as we unify the right. Denmark's been run irresponsibly for far too long. It's only by sheer grit and perseverance of the Danish people that we still function as a country. Stand for the right-wing political parties, file a united common cause against the leftist menace. And then we're going to jump over uh, and do Sign for Vars for Leget. With tension rising in Europe once again, we must confess that our current defense capabilities are severely lacking. So any new defense agreement to increase the funding for the Army, Navy, and Air Forces would strengthen our military ability and secure our nation's integrity. So we're playing as uh, good old Denmark, and we'll see how far we get. Uh, I usually like getting political power, but... We'll see. Of course, this is a little cheaper than it normally is, huh? Huh. I have a feeling, um, I, like I said, I always want political power, but... Uh, we'll see. What is this? Ah, look at all these guys. Interesting. So there's no one that gives us extra political power, which kind of sucks. But... We're going to need someone here to go a certain route. Now, we're on a historical. This is actually a really good. Rearmament proponent. Someone's not the Christian... Christmas Molder is not the country leader. Where's the Christmas Muller? Interesting. That's not bad. Could you assume it gets factors? Eh, it's alright. Daily economy support? Probably not. So, we're gonna go with this guy. When hired, the welfare and warfare balance moves 15% to the right side. Interesting. Right now, now we're here. We were over here, low welfare spending, but now we're on low military spending. We're just a little bit in different categories and whatnot. Criticize our preparedness. Question of defenses. Speak against the welfare system. Speak out in favor of rearmament. So we're going to unify the right for now. 1.2 political power every day. And we've got a couple of national spirits as Denmark. Because as you can tell, we're going down a <clears throat> certain route. Declaration of neutrality. Denmark has managed to stay out of wars for decades. It's only been possible through our policy of neutrality. It served us well and will continue to do so. We'll see about that. Remote from the Rhineland. Germany is on historical currently. I want to do this one because we know the military factory, political power, war sport. All that really good stuff. So Expand. Um, are these ones super important to get immediately? Honestly, not really, no. Yeah, so then we're going to go down this route, probably. Oh, we can fortify our borders. Yeah, we'll need to definitely do that. Gain the support of conservatives. Conspire with the officer corps. Uh, even though a large part of the conservative party would never dream of cooperating with the likes of Bon, bon Departite or DNSAP, there are still those who can see how utterly defenseless and unprepared Denmark gets for the storm that's coming. We must convince them to join our cause. Yes, please. And we'll see what we do. I mean, I'll be honest. We're probably going to use cons commands maybe eventually. So, uh, yeah. Press censorship. Probably not. We're working conditions. Early mobilization would be bad. It's a little more expensive than what we would like because we have low military spending, but still. Um, is there anything else we can grab here currently that would be nice? Huh. Daily democracy support. No, I don't think so. Has not completed focus policy of disarmament. Give more population, which would be pretty nice. Finance minister. Honestly, I might just choose him anyways. I'm not sure this is a good idea or not, but we do need to work on this stuff too. Criticize Thorvald Stauning, who's our current leader. Members of Riksdagen are questioning the leadership of Thorvald Stauning behind closed doors, but no one seems to be willing to do so when they open. So as to open the criticism and rally major majority of the Riksdagen to pave the way for emotional no confidence. We could emotional no confidence. Defend the policy of neutrality. No, we're good. Speak all favor in or armament. Cost hundred political power, which is quite a bit. But you don't lose stability. If anything, you get a war spore. We cannot sit idly by when the rest of Europe is in an arms race and certain times will ahead. We must prepare defense to start the rearmament as soon as possible, preferably yesterday. Sure, why not? And so now, we still have this. It's going to hurt civilian construction speed and whatnot. Trade laws, economy laws, ooh, go up. Eh, yeah, partial mobilization would be bad to go to next. And again, getting army XP would be pretty nice too. That would be not bad. Point two. Uh, division defense. Organization is only point four. We're going to go with him. Screw it. Start working on our army stuff. We're working on the navy stuff, so. But after this, encourage paramilitary organizations. Uh, we'll get the officer corps. 
With a unified right-leaning coalition with a much larger political mandate and a more consistent, coherent agenda, we can now approach the office of court and persuade at least some of them to stand behind us. I'll be honest, with this campaign, we're probably going to go down in flames. Working conditions, prepare for civil war, open up political discourse. Uh, we'll see. We might want to start the Kalmar Union. We might be able to get there. We want to proclaim Nordic unity, perhaps, too. We want to restore the North Sea Empire, maybe. And then we have established Dominium Modus Baltici. So we'll see. You never know. Uh, strength of the Officer Corps. Our officers play a pivotal role in the success of military operations and to ensure the effectiveness of our armed forces. We must place a renewed emphasis on strengthening our officer corps. We must cultivate a new generation of skilled and dedicated leaders. Or the government. Uh, what is this one? Encouraging locally based paramilitary organizations would not only bolster national security in case of war, but <clears throat> also enhance a sense of community and unity among the citizens. Happy 1936, everybody. Trucks would be nice. Artillery would be nicer. We have no planes. That is not ideal. And, like, no manpower. Are we mobilizing? No, we're not. Um, so, honestly, we don't need to waste political power for that. I like that we're getting more stuff here anyways. So, what do we have? Oh, God. Point three, point two, point three. Interesting. As we strengthen the officer core. And then we'll overthrow the government. A country has for too long been run by greedy people who have only been looking out for themselves, ignoring all the dangers that have posed a threat to the Danish people. It's time for a new order to be established and usher a new era for Denmark. How much political power to get? One, that's not bad. Games, the 11th Olympiad, the games are concluded. Now I made sure uh, Germany is. Let's see, what does this do? Oh, interesting. Conscription, economy laws. I don't want to go too high before we can switch over. But uh, Germany is going to remain fascist, so we'll see what happens with them. Maybe they'll be good, maybe they won't be good. So, as we overthrow the government, you know, good times. It's still going up by 0 0.03, which is decent. Oh, God. So much does this cost now? Oh, God, it costs even more. Not ideal. But we're overthrowing the government, because you know why not. Increase all worker welfare decisions by 25, huh? So with that in mind, <clears throat> march on the capital, probably. A long last, the time has come for a party to rise up and take control of Denmark's future. We must march on Kolbenhaven and make the, our voice heard. This will be the start of a strong and secure air in Danish history. And we could ask for support, but what do we do to seize power? Oh, look at this guy. He's kind of handsome. Nude Bach, right wing populace, political power, monthly population, recruitable population. Interesting. Oh, political edicts, huh? Actually, does this finish at the end? Oh, no. You have the benefits of that. Um, so, fascist militarist Kate Lembeck versus Fritz Clausen. 5% more political power than that. So you don't get the 5% little political power. You get political power and stability, but the guy gives you party popularity, stability modifier, and 10% more support. Conscription cost goes down, but trade law and costs increased. 10% minus for economy law, but better, slightly better uh, military factory construction speed, and better all military advisors costs. Oh, the democratic support starts of war. Huh. So we do that in Dano German military cooperation. But they accept. Or Denmark first. I want to see if we can do Denmark first. Uh, it's probably a bad idea, but it's probably honestly a god awful idea. But remove declaration of neutrality. Seize power. The kingdom of Denmark is flying under the except new fascist government. We should abolish the Riggs dog and instead place the future of a great nation in the hands of K. Lembeck. However, if there's uh, but a slow the resistance, uh, be, we must be prepared to stamp it out for good. Fortify our borders. You know, I kind of prefer this one, probably. No, I don't. I really don't. Tensions rising across Europe once more. While we get through the Great War on Skate, there's no guarantee that will happen again. We must prepare for the worst while hoping for the best. Defending our borders and independence is a first priority. <clears throat> Organization would be nice. Expand Dansk Industry Syndicate. Hemnervernet. Hemnervernet. Spend the Herons Technica Corps. As you can tell, I don't speak Danish. Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting some planes, perhaps. 
Oh, what are they good with? Bonus for production. Yeah. What type of division took place? Infantry division? Oh, that's decent. Binyao division? Not as good. Cavalry division? Yeah. There we go. Honestly, just convert yourself to this. It's fine. And there goes Ethiopia. Train to be the best you can. That's super close. Can we... Ooh, we can just do that maybe. Press censorship. What if we ban communism? Would that be enough for us? Minus 10%? We lose a little bit of stability. We would get what we need immediately, though. We only need 2 more percent, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Dive bomber. Oh, that's pretty good. We could continue to wait, perhaps. And then we'll do expand Vernefitten. The military is barely even a token force. <clears throat> Completely incapable of deterring anyone to be invaders. If they're to be put on an actual defense of the nation, we need to rapidly expand our conscription. We're going to Ooh, we get two military factories, which actually be pretty nice. Two of them is pretty good. What is this? Uh, do we have an economic crisis? Declare neutrality. Neglect the military. We have pursued a policy to disarm neutrality for years. That's not provoke the Germans. The military is barely more than a token force to symbol uh, symbolically protect our sovereignty. The armed forces have received continual funding cuts over the years, leaving them wholly unprepared for new potential conflicts. Economic crisis. Oh! <clears throat> the Great Depression hit us with full force. As a result, failing, falling demand for agricultural produce has meant debt and foreclosures for many farmers. Skyrocketing employment has become a breeding ground for extremist movements on the political fringes. Well, by developing the crown, our agricultural products would be more competitive on the international market and would improve export, export opportunities, which in turn will alleviate the struggling farmers. Yeah, uh, we're going to do that one anyways. So that's why we're not getting as much here, maybe. Honestly, they're lowering this by a lot, which is helping us here. So if we do this... Oh, interesting, I didn't realize that. So, hmm. What do we got here? Trucks. Less reliability, better production cost. More reliability. Breakthrough. Oh, let's go with this one. Thirty-nine. That's pretty good. We can wait for a little longer. Trade with Germany. Hey, this on the line goes down further if they accept trade with Britain. Uh, the German Reich historically imported large amounts of our agricultural produce, and not even the Great War stopped this. But in the last few years, trade has decreased between both countries. Perhaps now it's time to reverse this trend. Now, do we want to do that? Well, we'll get this done within 70 days, yes, we will. So we want to wait for that. Ooh, that's not bad. Daily democracy support goes up, though. That's not good enough. What about the islands? Um, two military factories. Ugh, these are 70-day focuses, though, as well. Hmm. Or just go here, which opens up everything else here, too. Yeah, I'll go with this one next. Because within a month, we will have for at least 40% to continue on with what we need to do. Can we go to limited conscription, and then this one will boost this up higher? You try it. Save real quick. So if we do this... Oh, that's 315. Oh, God. Go to limited. Uh... Is that really enough? Welfare balance, or preparations, recruitable pop, recruitable. Total Krieg. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> We're going to do this anyways. There you go. It does go to the next level, which is not bad, but still. Uh, I'm not sure which way we want to go. We need man We definitely need manpower. But. Hmm. We don't really have the industry for tons of artillery. But defense. Because I do like using a lot of things. Well, I'll try spirit firepower anyways. 
Is it bad for us? No, it's not bad, but we're going to seize power no matter what. Is it worth doing superior firepower for this group? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, remaining days. Look at that. Democracy's still going down. Unaligned support's going up. So I chose this guy, Fritz Clausen, as fast as possible. So how do we see his power? We're going to do Denmark first for more war support, probably. Uh, can create factions, Northern National Front, remove Declaration of Neutrality, invite King of Denmark to the Northern National Front, and invite faction members to the North Northern Technological Advancements Group. We've come so far on our own merits, so why should we reach out to any of the great powers for support? Instead, the Kingdom of Denmark will stand on its own two feet, and grow to be just as relevant as other major factions in the world. Lang live Denmark, or Denmark. And then we'll need to rally the nation. Well, we'll see if we can. We're going to need more army XP. Oh, okay, Lembeck. I assume we can go get more population. Interesting. That's support. Five percent more there. Resolute Social Democrat. Honestly, it will probably choose this guy. We're gonna need that man that manpower. Prince of Terror, huh? Ah, that's him. Happy ninety thirty-seven, everybody. What do we got here. I'm not sure which one's the best for each one of these, but we're just kind of going along and seeing what looks best. Changing our front forms. Pretty normal. Uh, fighter, aircraft specializations, close air support specializations. I'm not sure if we can even get them. Ground attack, agility, air defense. I'm going to go with this one at the very least. We need at least uh, something like that. Honestly, these are so cheap. Do we need to change anything else? War economy would be nice. Don't get me wrong. But I really need to focus on the military here. Oh, there we go. Attack. Anything else here special? No. Go with that. How much arty do we have? A decent amount, actually. Oh, yeah. Arty's now way more expensive. Forgot about that. Mm, as well for now. We need that in the map field, anyways. Start working on some of this stuff too. All weather, spirit superiority. You know what? In the end, it won't really matter. Naval stuff is pretty good, easy to get. So, rally the nation, poop them out. See what you got here. How much we got? Sixty-three thousand less right now. Denmark first. We're gonna rally the nation eventually. Um, because I don't want to get there fast. We need more cities, and we will need it to attack. Other people eventually. Um, so in the meantime, well, we'll try with Germany. Oh, there we go. Invite Poland to the Northern National Front. Um, invite Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, Finland. Well, Poland, Lithuania, it's the Baltic states, huh? Let's improve relations with everybody first. Is this a bad idea? Probably. Let's just burn up all that political power. So, slowly getting better. Anyone want to continue improving relations? Iceland will do awesome first.
Asin joins the research agreement. Great news, Asin has agreed to enter a cooperative tech sharing program this with us. This means all have access to technological advancements and surely help us as we set up our plan in the future of this country. Stand stronger together. That's not nice. There's those guys. We're gonna go with probably a navy like that. Marco Polo Bridge incident. And next we'll get to maybe Finland. Finland seems alright. Then again, Germany. Do they, how much do they like us? You know what we're going to do anyways. Screw it. It's not nearly as expensive, so. So after that, I feel like still working on stuff. Aaron, reorganization. The initial army is small and wholly unprepared to defend our borders. We must be reorganized into an effective fighting force. With an efficient central command to maintain our independence and deter potential enemies. They got our trade proposal. Fantastic. The trade delegations returned from the German Reich with positive recruits. Results. The Germans have signed the proposed trade agreement, which will uh, uh, strengthen our agricultural sector <clears throat> and create new jobs and opportunities. A great decision for both parties. War between our countries to break this deal. Cool. Inquiry to expand trade deal. Adolf Hitler sent a trade delegation to us, asking him to expand on our already existing trade agreement for agricultural products. It would seem that they cannot get enough of our produce. Expanding on this deal will create more jobs and strengthen our farmers even further. Nice. Um, so, look, the Finns. Yes. Hey. Then the Volden gains an ally. Finland has agreed to take our offer of alliance and officially sign the declaration. Let us stand together against the storm and ensure each other's security for years to come. Excellent. Invite Finland to the group. Let's get everyone in the group first. See what happens. Is this a bad idea? Probably. Because we do need to invade everyone else too, so. But as long as I'm faction leader, we can kick people out, right? As we're working on our army here. No. Let's see, just your size. Military factory's nice. War sports not bad. 70 days though is quite bad though. Danes have built heavy fortifications facing mainland Europe for centuries. The most famous of these being the Danewerke. As the German Reich is rearming itself once again and stringing the major powers around us, we must build a modern Danewerke to protect our borders. Closer are we now? Oh, we're not even close at all. What about the Isles? Probably. Because I do want to take out Sweden. If we could do that together, that'd be great. Because the main goal is to take out Sweden and Norway first. Because we get the Alcala Marine. Um, so. Lithuania, Estonia. Well, we got these guys in with us anyways. Let's do that. Poland would also be the strongest power next before they also die to the Germans, but. We're going to go with these guys, because we can. Because if we can get everyone here and then go to war with these guys. Hey, Finland joined. Go to war with Sweden. That opens up a land front here. And we can defend here. The Swedish Navy is probably nothing to laugh at, but still. Estonia, you're next. You know you want to join. And to identify the Soviet Union, of course. And... They get, we've gained another ally. Nice. Oh. Nice. 
nice. Butterfly of the Isles. Because it won't get down here, so we get down here. Not all of Eastern Denmark lies on hundreds of islands, and our navy is not nearly big enough to protect them all from our neighbors of much larger fleets. By constructing coastal fortifications in key locations, we might be able to repel potential invaders. That'd be great. Next be uh Latvia. Slowly getting there. Slowly but surely. How far are they? Might be January fifth. Oh! Soviet Civil War, that's not bad. Just one more division. Need more guns. What else is new? That's good enough. Happy day thirty-eight. Ah. Poland in. We'll start just fighting on Sweden to attack immediately and use all of our guys to do so. Good, just in time. As much as I want to do that, rally the nation. Yeah. Eight. Pulling in, we can start just fine then. Nine is good. You want to hire maybe? Yep. Why is it so low? Stability. Ah. Uh. Come on. Come on, Poland. Call for revolutionary brigades. Oh, left Trotsky is made for call for volunteers in the struggle against Joseph Stalin. The call has been answered by various groups and international brigades are forming. Nice, there we go. Alright, so how long is it going to take to justify against these guys? Oh, it's going to be a lot more political power. Like 280 days is a long time. Good God. But after the nation, what else can we do? We need more civvies. Storm Afding. Institute Corporatism. Or I just reclaim Norway. Depends on the Navy. Uh, the Danish crown ruled Norway for hundreds of years before the Swedes took it from us in 1814. The king's brother, King Hakon of Norway, has shown himself unwilling to take direct control and necessary choices to safeguard his people. So once more unify the two countries under Danish rule. That's going to be a big old pain in the butt, ain't it? Fifty sixteen divisions, which is not bad actually. How big is our navy? Fifteen to eighteen, which is better than us. We have five, seven. So, as we rally the nation. Oh, uh, Orkids go to war, sway the public opinion. So we have the Nordics. Oh, we're get Iceland. Develop the island. Offer protection. We get brute force. Well, I don't know. Oh, we don't have enough time here. Um, we could try to reclaim Norway first. It might be worth it, might not be. The Danish crown ruled Norway for hundreds of years before the Swedes took it from us, of course. So, oh, I'll get sway these guys. There's something to be said about the old saying, the pen is mightier than the sword. It could be prudent to try to sway other nations to cause our cause with diplomatic means instead of using brute force. 
We could try this, but if it doesn't go well, well, we'll come back to the drawing stage. Swain Norris next. There's something to be said about the old saying, of course. Um, offer protection. The further increase our influence and power in the Nordic region and for, around the Baltic Sea, we should establish Danish hegemony by offering proper protection to those in need. Defend our fellow Nordic and Baltic brethren will strengthen the security in the whole region and benefit us all. <clears throat> Connect the islands. The end of island, the consists of a multitude of islands where the only point that connects us to the mainland is in southern Jutland. They facilitate the travels through our country. Above all, between the islands, we must build bridges that bind us closer together, expand Institute for uh, Therotisk Physique. The Institute for Therotisk uh, Physique is a world leading authority in physics that was founded by the theoretical physicist Niels Bohr. By funding the institution and expanding its facilities, we can stand reaps rewards and could potentially even recruit Niels Bohr himself to our cause. Um, <clears throat> what's down here? Anything wor really worth it? Artillery defense? Um. Expand Heron's Technische Corps. The Army's Technical Corps operates weapons arsenal in Heron's Gewellfabrik, which produces both weapons and ammunition. Expanding these facilities to increase the production of rifles and artillery, which of course strengthen our military capabilities. Expand Dansk Industry Syndicat. The Dansk Industry Syndicat, or Ripple Syndicat, is, as it commonly is known as, is the country's largest weapons manufacturer and produces their armies, mats, and rifles. Investing in and expanding their factories is of utmost national security interest. Hemverne. There are plenty of people ready to rise up and defend Denmark from any aggressor. We should utilize the fighting spirit of those people by forming a home guard in case someone would be foolish enough to invade us. Institute corporatism. Oh, this would be pretty decent and pretty actually pretty good to do overall, even though it's going to destroy our consumer goods factories factor. Uh, inspired by the Italian model, workers and capitals from different economic sectors must participate in national policymaking so that we can mediate between the groups and carry out the most beneficial reforms for our national economy. We'll help us secure a solid political future for Denvalden. Well, everyone, this is going way better than I thought it would. I thought Norway would be way more difficult. Uh, we've called all our allies in except for Iceland and Finland. Well, of course, Finland didn't want to come in. Norway is 73% towards capitulation. We've eliminated 7,000 enemies. Um, we've done very well. Now, we try to get Lithuania into our faction, but of all the people, Lithuania is like, nah, not to deal. Not to, not to deal? Not today. It's July 24th, 1938. Um, I remember when we first invaded here. Um, a lot of our soldiers were caught off guard by their navy. But you can see, we've even encircled a few divisions here ourselves. We have one right there, and then we have another one right there too. So, we're actually doing incredibly well. That being said, the next big task is to eliminate Sweden. Now that's going to be a tough nut to crack. Um, we got to move fast before Germany wants to go to war with the Poles. Now we're on a historical, so we'll see what happens. But, still, you never know. You can never trust any of the AI. Ever. Like, ever, 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 ever. There you go. That's pretty good. Uh, just keep going on in. You know what? Go right there. If we get to Bergen, that'd be for the best. We have 100 air XP as well. Look at that. Also, we have the international market. We are trying to uh, get the deliveries here as fast as possible. Oh, the UK dis disavows appeasement. The Brits have thrown down the gauntlet. Interesting. And we're going to go with battle support, computer machine. We're doing, actually, like I said, we're doing way better than I thought we would here. Uh, grab this. Grab that. Yes. Good. Keep him in place. Oh, we got him! Fantastic. And we got the Navy too, look at that. Wow. Looking pretty good. So this is their Navy. They try to cap, uh, catch our seven ships. But we did alright, so go ahead and go back home. As you can see, we got a little bit of experience here, not a lot. Uh, we're gonna need to do this too. Military governor, uh, no, not definitely a motorized cavalry brigade. We're gonna go through an oversight because eventually we do want to get the the, the union, the Kalamata Union. So now we all Swedish states, which is gonna really suck. We only have ten divisions too, which is <laughs> not ideal. Hmm. Honestly. I don't know if we'll actually be able to take them all on. Scary Norway has been fulfilled, which is great. We're instituting corporatism too. We'll have to just finally get against these guys. So how many divisions do they have? They don't have a lot of manpower. Well, we're actually relatively equal-ish. We don't have a lot of time though. Uh, oops. So, mountain training. Is there anything for Sweden? Storm Alfelding? Bring the island would be nice. Sweep public opinion, offer protection. Develop the island. Secure Eastern Front. I would like Finland too. But is there anything for Sweden? It's 
secure Swedish steel, but we're claim Norway instead. Rally the Swedes. Well, we don't want the Swedes like that. From the Nordic League. Huh. A Norden League leader, 0.7 more political power. That's pretty good to get. That's a lot of political power. So we the Nordics. Well, it doesn't really look like it, unfortunately. So we will have to manually just fly against them. It's right here. Uh, how much more? Four more. Two more. So we're going to save real quick and see if we can actually launch an invasion of Sweden eventually. Hopefully we can maneuver our way around to beat them up, but like always there's no guarantee. And we're going to need more divisions here too. Because we have decent divisions. Our divisions are actually pretty decent. But fighting into here is going to be a giant pain in the butt, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. So, but we're instituting corporatism, um, foreign designs, obviously we've got to go domestic designs, that just makes only makes too much sense for us to do. I read quite a few through these earlier, let's form the Nord Northern League, maybe. Uh, the pan Scandinavian dream has suffered a serious setback with the failure to stand together in 1864, however. The royal heritage rooted in our long-standing traditions that we shared allows us to see the bigger picture and work together as one for the preservation of our beloved kings and queens. Cool. And maybe, oh, we read that earlier, offer protection, reintegrate the island. Not too long ago, Iceland was part of our nation, and I've been for centuries. It's high time to convince the Icelandic people to join the realm, become one unified nation once again. Connect the islands, which I think I read this earlier too, and the Expand Institute for Teotesk Physique. So if you're going to do that again, please go ahead. But I think we'll end it there, because we actually had a really successful first episode. Next one, well, might not be so successful, but we'll see. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below and see you tomorrow if, and see if we can take out the Swedes. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.